Welcome back to the Tutor Money Super 1 British Carding Championships here at Lark Hall in Scotland. I Army Cadet up next for drivers from eight years of age. Earlier, I spoke to the round two winner, Will McIntyre. That was your first win, Will, at Super 1. How did that make you feel on the way home? I mean, it felt really great. I mean, just, just so good. I bet your dad was floating home, wasn't he, when he was uh, driving back? Yeah, he was absolutely over the moon. How have you gone uh, this weekend so far and how do you like this circuit, Larkhall? Well, I like the circuit, but we haven't had the best of luck round here. The like, first heat we got hit off and spun around and then the second heat didn't have the power, but still bring it home for fourth, so we're going OK. OK, so you're hoping to move forward. You're going to be, well, I guess we don't know where you're going to be in the televised final because we've still got the pre-final to go. You want to make uh, places up there, I guess, and give yourself a decent chance to the final? Yeah, OK, well, good luck today. Thank you. Will McIntyre, one of the four favourites for this championship. But how about these two on the front row of the grid, Lindblad and Dodds. McIntyre is alongside the local man, Harry Jr. Burgoyne. Short, Carr, Neat, Robertson, Hall and Monty Canini Jr. Back after his big incident at Wilton Mill last time. What a recovery. Rippin, Hodgson, Phillips and Ella Stevens are close behind. Keep an eye out for Luke Watts and Harley Keeble. They will be charging forward after a disappointing pre-final. And here we go. Fantastic start to the race. Now, here's going to be the interesting dynamic in this one. Max Dodds has switched teams between meetings. So he's moved across to Oliver Rowland Motorsport to be teammate to Arvid Lindblad. And the intention is we've got a couple of drivers off on the grass. They come back on the circuit. No major disasters. But yes, Arvid Lindblad, race leader, round two. After an early collision, he was sixth, of course, in that race, but he's leading the way now. And through to second comes Max Dodds. This is exactly why Dodds has moved to this team from this round of the championship. They want to work together to take down the Fusion Motorsport Massive. Will McIntyre and Freddie Slater. But Freddie Slater, the Oakley, had a really terrible run in the uh, earlier final. There was a move made by Max Dodds, and Slater tried to commit to it, went into the grass chippings and dropped down the order. Fought his way back to sixth position. Wait a minute, that's Freddie Slater in the top ten, he's in eighth place! He started sixth, he's made sixth. up half. Has he made up eight places in one lap? That is <laughs> astonishing! And never mind that, Harley Keeble, Jake, has made up ten places down the well, field. Well, make that nine! Slater goes up on the inside, uses the curb and gets past Max Hall, so the Gladiator has to resist, unfortunately. But Freddie Slater now charging forward, and so too Harley Keeble up ten places! Goodness me, we said that they would be fighting forward. Here's Aidan Neat, are doing a great job in 2018. He's had flashes of speed in the past. I was talking to his dad earlier on the day, uh, Andy Neat, the former British touring car driver. Aidan's really getting consistent these days. We saw every now and then there would be a good race where he was on form and then he'd be reasonable the rest of the time. This yeah. year, he's really got forward. He's got consistency. Oh, a bit of an incident there out of the final turn. Now that's one of the Fusion rookies. That looks like Luke Sindler and Leo Robinson have got in together there. So Leo Robinson, sadly, one of the new faces at Fusion for this year. He's been unfortunately turned around. Not intentional again, just a little bit of racing incident when two drivers are fighting for momentum out of that final turn and one loses it very slightly. All it takes is just a little nip and that's enough to turn two carts around. A real shame there. Now there's Brandon Carr as he battles for fifth position. He's the third man in this top six of the Oliver Ronan Motorsport team. He's the new man in the brigade and the leading rookie at the moment, Brandon Carr. We talked about him in the off-season, having a great run in the SK USA uh, last time out. And there he goes, making the move. He's up at the P5. Good move there from Brandon Carr, and Freddie Slater's gone with him. Freddie Slater's up to sixth place from 16th. The championship leader at the start of the meeting has had a bit of a nightmare today, but... He's showing all the character he needs now. He's just got to rescue what he can. Luke Watts, by the way, down in, uh, started on P21. He's made up 10. Yeah, he's made up 10. Just looking at that, he's, he's up to 11. So Luke Watts, well out of position down on P21. He's had a nightmare meeting from his point of view, as has Slater. But Slater now just trying to recover as many points as he can, keeping his head cool. For a young man, he is, he is extremely cool indeed. He'll be disappointed with his performances in the earlier heats, Jake, as you say, uh, caught up in a few things. Started down on P16 for this uh, grand final, televised final here, but you can see him going through the shot. I think that's him up to, that's fifth place it now. Is. Yeah, fifth position, Freddie Slater. He's only got two more to get past. Sam Shaw, the virtual Super One Championship leader, and uh, 
Will McIntyre, who won last time out, and his teammate, of course, now, from his point of view, he will want to get past Will McIntyre fairly quickly or work with him, depending on what sort of speed Will McIntyre has got to work with him. Now, it'll be interesting, but this is a great turnaround from Sam Shaw in fourth position. He is having a great season all of a sudden, and he has put it down to working on the kart sim in the Super 1 British Esports Championship. Yeah, indeed. He's a championship leader, I think, Jake, in that he is. Not. He's, uh, he's done particularly well in there. You can watch that on the Wednesday evenings before the Super 1 rounds, guys, on our YouTube channel, the uh, Kart Sim Championship. Fantastic software it is. And Sam Shaw absolutely on fire in that championship. And as you say, Jake, it seems to be moving him forward in the real world as well. The nine kart there, just pick him out as a go passers on this fantastic camera position, I have to say, we put down here. As you can see, all the carts as they sweep past on the nine cart there in uh, fourth place currently, but I'm not sure how long he's going to be in fourth because here comes Slater in fifth place, getting closer. Well, can I just say what a great week it is for Oliver Rowland Motorsport. You've got two drivers in Army Cadet 1 and 2 doing the exact game plan they set out to do, work together in tandem to get away from the rest of the field. And they won and were second in the earlier race. And looking like they're going to do the same thing here. And, of course, Oliver Rowland himself in a couple of days is going to be uh, testing the Williams Formula 1 car at Barcelona. So it's a great week for Oliver Rowland Motorsport. And it proves that the talent is here to stay. Lindblad and Dodds, the two plate and the three plate, on the podium in last year's championship. Now it looks as though these two could be the dream team to fight for the ultimate championship. And they have such a good relationship this weekend. They've been working together. They've been sharing all the data, working it together. It's a symbiotic relationship, these two. And they think that these two, this combination, is going to be what will beat Fusion Motorsport in 2018. And it seems to be working great here at Lark Hall. I, I think that's right. That dynamic oh. has, has changed things for me. Look how close Slater's got to these two up front. We said it was going to be a mission to catch them. He is doing it. He is chipping away. He's there in fifth position. And he is absolutely decimating that gap. He's just done a new fast. It's that 45 4 8 as Luke Watts we see there now up to 10th position, making up as many places as Slater. They've both made up 11. Gladiator Maximus Hall just going through the picture on the 93, he's trying to recover position. He's lost positions early, started P9. He's lost position now back to 11th. Harry Bagorn Jr. Jake's got a problem with his car. He started well up the grid and he's lost about 13 places, I think, so far. So, a bit of a problem there, unfortunately for Harry, but I'm sure he will recover. He's got to take the positives out of his grid position for this weekend. Here comes Slater at the inside of Shaw. I was just going to say, Shaw made a move on McIntyre into the hairpin and it didn't work and that's held him up and now Slater's gone through in a P4. Good work there. Then it's Carr in sixth. Neat, Rippin, Phillips and Luke Watts in the top ten from the Gladiator, Max Hall, then Harry Jr. Burgoyne, MJ Canini. He looks even stronger since that incident at Wilton Mill. Here he comes, the, the 13. We just saw him there in the shot as he's ahead of Ashton Hodgson and the other top rookie, Ellis Stevens. But MJ Canini having a great comeback here after his very nasty looking incident at Wilton Mill. He is a changed young man. Yeah, he seems to have come out of it stronger. It was an awful crash, no doubt about it, but nice to see that uh, he's recovered, not lost any of his confidence. He's, got, uh, he's lost some places early on, started P10, he's in 13th, but he's... Uh, He's still in there running, and uh, nice to see him showing the character to yeah. come back from that crash because that was an absolutely huge incident. Well, it's a, he's a much stronger character. He's had a better weekend, all in all, not just this race here. As Ellis Stevens seems to have turned a bit of a developmental corner as well. She's on the back of Ashton Hodgson for 15th place. Now, being in that first half of the grid, really, really important. And in your first season as a rookie, it's hard to be there. But you've got to look at these rookies. Brandon Carr, Charlie Rippon, Ella Stevens, all of them in the top 15, really working hard at different levels. You've got to remember that Ella Stevens is a privateer as well, not just a rookie this year, but a privateer working with Alice Powell, her driver coach. They are doing amazing things, leaps and bounds. And I don't think it's going to be long before she's regularly in the top 10. First time we've seen the Easy Copiers drone out this year in an MSA event. Nice to see it up and flying. We're not flying around. We've just got that sort of plane shot. Um, no real space for, for the drone to move about necessarily, but it does give you this fantastic well, overall view of the circuit here at Lark Hall. Slater's through to third. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but Slater's got through to third, so he's clearly decided that Will McIntyre is not going to be able to be pushed forward, as it were. He's decided to get in front of his teammate to see if Will can help him out instead. 
Brilliant recovery drive by Freddie Slater. Absolutely brilliant. 13th to third. From, uh, yeah, 16th to third. I think Six, yeah, sorry, 16th to third places. in 10 laps. He's done that. Incredible. That is one to heck of a talent for the future, Freddie Slater. I think these two, Maxwell Dodds having moved, I'm not sure why he's moved from Strawberry to uh, RRM, but it looks like the right move, doesn't it? Because these two now can work together. Before that, we had... Uh, well, the only two teammates really at the top of the tree were McIntyre and Slater. They could work together. Maxwell Dodds was out on his own with Strawberry Racing. Limblad was out on his own with Oliver Rowland Motorsport. But these two now can work together against the Fusion Motorsport drivers. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens for the rest of the season. Well, you've got to remember that from both their points of view, they needed a teammate to work with. Arvid Limblad yeah, was very yeah. happy in the team, but yeah. he didn't really have anybody quite at his pace yet to push him around the circuit. We can see that Brandon Carr and Harley Keeble are doing a good job in terms of their pace, but they're not quite at the Lindblad level yet. So he needed someone at his pace to work with him. So did Max Dodds at Strawberry. He needed someone at his pace to work with him. They both had the same issue. So Max Dodds, his dad, Ollie, they looked at it and said, well, why don't we just come across to Oliver Rowland Motorsport? We both get what we want and it's working. Yeah, it certainly is working. No doubt this work. Look this at the weekend, gap they've got. working really well. Vinny Phillips, by the way, up uh, five places into eighth place. Luke Watts is into the top 10, he made up 11. Great recovery drive by Luke. As we said earlier, he's well out of position. He's been in it to win it first couple of rounds well out of position down on p21 but back into the top 10 now well while we watch these two short continue to stretch out in front behind ella stevens in 15th harley keeble is now to 16th place having made up 10 positions of his own the young mexican ian aguilera is in 17th place archie clark the uh, msa bambino champion from last year and grandson of roger clark the rallying great doing a fantastic job in 18th place he's really getting forward faster as well he's getting there as the weekends progress he could be another driver who by the end of the season could be in that top 10 very easily max barrow and bart harrison both rookies doing a grand job uh, bart harrison moving his way forward archie clark's just lost a couple of places on that lap but he's in there with his fusion teammates the likes of oliver wright leo robinson uh, strawberry racing's jack young is in there as well the irishman alex o'grady is in there the youngster from the philippines here for the first time this year william go has done a cracking job moving across Across the Pierce Sexton Racing. He's being managed this weekend by Colin Brown, the man who once kicked Lewis Hamilton to the corner. Uh, and Luke Sittler recovering after his earlier incident is still in the mix as well. But uh, William Go, he's another one to keep an eye on. He's only really been racing in the Philippines and he knew that this weekend he would be at the tail end of the field, but he's been putting off some good overtaking moves. He's been getting faster. But then who better is there to learn from in the world of karting than Colin Brown? Let's be honest. Absolutely. I think he was the 2000 world champion, wasn't he? And when I was watching him on the kart sim at the kart show last year, um, not live, it was live streamed. I know you guys like a bit of live streaming. I was watching how Colin was sort of turning in the corners. It was a great lesson for all the kids not to not to hack the wheel, hack at the wheel. It was just making the turn very smooth on the steering wheel and uh, just shows you it. Once a world champion, you never lose it. Well, Marshall having to get back into position rather quickly because the leaders are coming through. They're going a bit quicker than they realised they were going to. So uh, the Fusion Carts third and fourth trying to chase down Limblad and Dodds, but Slater clearly has a little bit more pace than McIntyre, so he's having to do it on his own. Yeah, and he's not doing it, Jake. 2.50, 2.56, and now 2.57 back there in third place. He is not closing this battle. However, if Limblad starts to defend, and he will... Slater will get closer, and believe me, if Freddie Slater gets close to these two, he's whacking one up the inside. Oh, yeah. He's not sitting there <laughs> in third place. Well, we're at the point of the race now, of course, where the team orders have worked, and now we've got two laps to go. Now it's every man for himself. Do what you like, guys. Just don't take each other off. So now they will race for the victory. We've got one lap to go, and it's up to them. Lindblad versus Dodds will now battle for the victory. Who's got the better chance over the other? Lindblad won the earlier race, but they were being a bit more conservative. They wanted track position. So now it's time for Dodds to strike. Here he comes. He's going to try and make a move on the inside. Oh, his Four teammate chance. gives him a really good run for his money there. And Lindblad looks back, a long look back to his teammate. Where are you going? Where are you going? Max is trying to outfox him. Great racing between these two. We'll see this several times this year as these two try and stretch out a lead and battle away. They will have a great battle. Hamilton versus Rosberg take two, although hopefully it will be more amiable. They come into the final three corners. Is Dodds close enough? I'm not sure he is. 
but it's a 1-2 for Oliver Rowland Motorsport. What a battle, and I know both parents are going to be very happy in the Lindblad and Dodds households. 1-2, and two, that's a big one for the championship. Lindblad now goes to the top of the championship standings ahead of Slater and Dodds, but it's very close, 11 points between the three of them. This is one heck of a championship battle now. It's a victory for Lindblad with his teammate Dodds behind. Slater in third from McIntyre. Shaw, Brandon Carr is the leading rookie from Aidan Neat, Vinny Phillips, Luke Watts and Charlie Rippin. A great drive from Luke Watts and an amazing fight back for Slater. Great racing this weekend, two brilliant victories. Talk us through how the weekend's gone from your point of view. Yeah, it's been a great weekend. We've pushed really hard and we've had some great results. And I tell you what, this new relationship with you and Max Dodds in the same team, it's working great, isn't it? Yeah, we're doing really well, pushing hard, and we've had some great results this weekend. So I guess the championship really starts here now? Uh, yeah, we just have to keep on pushing throughout the year and hope we can get some good results and try and win the championship. Good stuff and a great weekend. Well done, Arvid. Thank you. But Lindblad takes the championship lead, but Slater saves his bacon to be only five points away. Dodds in third, McIntyre fourth, Aidan Neat is the best of the rest at the moment. Junior TKM begins next.